Hi, Dr. Vo here. Are you thinking about having cataract surgery but maybe feeling a little bit nervous about it? Well, you're not alone. Remember that every year, millions of people worldwide get cataract surgery. And so in today's video, we're going to be walking through a full cataract surgery case so that you can see step-by-step -step exactly what's happening during the surgery. The intention or the purpose of this video is to hopefully alleviate some of your anxiousness or nervousness about having surgery. Before we hop into the video, I just briefly want to review what cataracts are. A cataract is a clouding of the natural lens in your eye. When you're young, this lens is nice and clear, but as you approach middle age and beyond, the lens becomes cloudy and opaque and more difficult to see through. And so during cataract surgery, we will remove the cataract and then insert an artificial lens uh, to take its place to allow you to see more clearly and sharply. Now, a lot of surgeons will use the analogy that a cataract is similar to a m and &M. It has a thin outer shell, which is the capsule of the cataract, and then the inner uh, chocolate portion of the m and is the actual cataract itself. And so, again, during the surgery, we'll remove the core of the cataract and then leave the outer shell, which is the, the capsule, and then we'll place the artificial lens inside that capsule. Um, so I have the case here, and we'll go ahead and start the video. This is a routine cataract surgery. Uh, most surgeries, you can expect it to take about 10 minutes or so. And so here, we are making the first incision. This incision is only about one millimeter in width, so very, very thin incision. Um, this is for uh, my off hand, which is my, my right hand, my non-dominant hand. And here, I'm just injecting some local anesthesia inside the eye. So a lot of patients are kind of concerned, you know, are they going to feel pain during the surgery? And for most patients, they don't feel any pain at all. Now I'm injecting some jelly, um, kind of like a jelly-like material to help inflate and pressurize the eye while we operate. Now the main incision during cataract surgery is actually only about two and a half millimeters in width, so it's still a very, very thin incision. Um, if you think about how a nickel is only about, maybe about two millimeters in thickness, and this is only about 25% thicker than that. So here is the uh, primary incision, and this is for my dominant hand, which is my, my left hand. Now, when we go back to the previous analogy about the M&Ms, remember that you know, what I had mentioned earlier is that the M&M has an outer shell, and so we want to make an opening into that shell. And so at this step of here, we're, we're making what's called the capsulorexis. And so this is a round opening where we kind of peel um, a circular opening in the outer layer. And then this will give us access to the cataract, which is underneath. So most important things during cataract surgery is to really try to stay still as much as possible. Um, if you are moving around a lot, you know, don't worry, your, your surgeon will definitely let you know that you're moving you around too much. But for the most part, most patients do great and uh, really nothing to worry about. So here I'm, I'm almost done with the capsule rexus and I'm gonna actually outline it for you with um, my cursor here, but you can see here the, the opening to, to the cataract. And at this step, I'm going to be injecting some fluid into the eye and this is to help uh, free up the cataract from the capsule. And we want to make sure that the, the cataract itself is um, well mobilized and, and free from any sort of attachment to the capsule so that when we uh, suction the cataract out, we're able to remove it easily. So this step is the most important step. I guess you can, you can say this. this is where the cataract is actually removed. And here I'm using an instrument called a phacal probe. Phacal stands for phacal emulsification. Now this instrument is pretty similar to what they use in dental offices for scaling. Um, it uses ultrasonic vibrations to break down at the cataract and then it also uh, suctions up the bits of the, the cataract and so that's how we're able to remove it. When we remove the cataract, typically most surgeons will break up the cataract into four quadrants and then suction out each quadrant. So here I just made the first two halves, so that was the first crack in the, the cataract and then now I'm gonna crack one of the halves into two quadrants and then I'll go ahead and suction up each quadrant individually. So that's the second crack there, and then we'll suction out each quadrant, and then we'll go ahead and work on the final final half. Um, one thing that patients always want to know during cataract surgery is, you know, are, are they going to be awake? Are they going to feel any pain? And 
Um, for the short answer is no, but you will receive, for most surgeries, you will receive a combination of both uh, light sedation through an IV and then also, as I mentioned earlier, you'll get local sedation as well. But if during the surgery, you know, you're feeling pain or you're having discomfort, just let your surgeon know. Um, they can certainly just give you more medication during the surgery. So here, I just made the, um, I cracked the other half into two quadrants and I'm, I'm taking out each quadrant individually here. And most of the cataracts have been removed by this point. So we have just one, one quadrant left. Um, you know, when we're performing cataract surgery, it's really important that we keep the capsule itself intact because we need to keep the structural, the natural structural support of your eyes so that when we inject the lens, it has a place to um, kind of stay fixated in the middle of your eye. So here, most of the cataract has been removed. I'm just checking around to see if there's any extra bits or fragments. And you can see here in the middle that there's a really nice uh, red reflex now because the cataract is gone. So this next step, um, which we call aspirating the cortex, we're just gonna remove and clean up the remaining bits and pieces of the cataract before we um, insert the lens inside the eye. And these little pieces are kind of like fine threads and they can be a little bit sticky. So, you know, it, it takes a little bit of patience to remove them all. But um, by this point, you know, really the hardest parts of the, the surgery have already been completed. Um, during this step as well, you know, there, the surgical tech is preparing the lens. So there's a lot of moving parts happening inside the operating room um, all at once. A lot of people, you know, the anesthesiologist, your surgeon, their surgical tech, the scrub nurse, everyone's kind of playing a role in making sure that your surgery goes well and, and smooth. So here, I'm just about done removing all the bits of the cortex of the cataract and, and I'm now checking, make sure that there's no re residual fragments anywhere and it looks nice and clear. And then I'm gonna go ahead and inject some of that viscoelastic or the provis, which is that jelly-like material to help inflate the capsule to make sure that there's enough space for the lens to go in. And here the lens is um, going to be injected inside the eye. Now the lens inside the injector actually comes in kind of a, it's almost folded like a taco. And so that's how it's able to fit through such a um, kind of small incision. And now I'm gonna position the lens inside the capsule. And you can see here that there are two arms on the actual lens. They're kind of like little hooks. And so as the lens unfolds and expands, those two arms will you know, stretch out and, and hold the lens and secure the lens within the capsule. And so a lot of patients are always asking, you know, will my lens shift, will it move around? And the short answer is no, you know, it's, it's, it's held pretty well inside, inside the uh, capsule. Now this step, I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and um, clean up, suction out all that jelly that I had injected inside the eye, make sure that there's no residual um, pieces of cataract anywhere, checking to make sure that um, the lens is well positioned, and then I'll do a little bit of polishing of the capsule as well, which, which you'll see here. Yep, so the lens you know, looks nice and well positioned, well centered. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of polishing here. You can see a little bit of that kind of cloudy material, which I'm cleaning off gently with, with the, uh, the tip. So I'm happy with how it looks. And so the final step is, you know, you can see here a nice red reflex. I'm gonna go ahead and just close up the wounds. So here I am injecting some fluid inside the edges of the wound to help keep it uh, closed. Um, patients, you know, another common question that patients ask is, you know, during cataract surgery, are there any sutures placed? And for the most part, no. And that's because at the end of the surgery, we, we do that last step where we inject some of that fluid inside the incisions that we made to um, basically swell them up and that acts as a self-sealing method. And so no sutures are typically needed for cataract surgery. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see here that the cataract surgery, um, you know, very, very, very fast surgery for, for most people and they see great the next day. And so if you're nervous about having cataract surgery, hopefully this video will make you feel a little bit less nervous about the thought of having surgery. It's really not that bad. Um, you'll go home the same day, you'll start eye drops, and then usually within just a couple of days, you'll, you'll be seeing great, you know, even for some patients, they see great just, just the next day within 24 hours. 
Um, if there are any questions, um, please drop them down in the comments. Um, I'd like to hear from you if you've already had cataract surgery or maybe you're going to have cataract surgery soon and what your experience was like. Um, if you found this video helpful, as always, just please make sure to like and subscribe. If you like more surgical videos like this, please let me know. I mean, I'd love to you know, show you some more of the surgeries that I've done, um, but I know that it's also maybe a little bit gory or a little bit um, unsettling for some people. So I'll, I'll kind of leave that based on the feedback I get on this video. Um, we'll see you in the next video then, okay? Take care, bye.